A group of Purdue students is trying to raise awareness of Tippecanoe County's court-appointed special advocates program and help it find more volunteers. Alex Kane and Ryan Nugent are here with details on CASA Awareness Week, which is November 9th through the 14th. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. This is kind of a class project. Alex, why don't you tell us how this got underway? Yes, um, we are all comm students currently at Purdue University, and um, for one of our classes, it's COM 324, um, we, are, we took on a part of uh, one of the local uh, supporters, and um, so we are currently doing our public relations for them and helping them figure out what's their best um, public relations Okay, yeah. and Ryan, you needed, uh, you, you were actually, uh, I guess, they were going to be assigning you to an organization, but you guys decided to choose CASA. Why was yes. that? Um, well, I had, I had heard of CASA before, and I thought it's a really neat organization that um, lets people, just everyday people, become a part of it. Um, so I wanted to raise more awareness and do all that I could to help. And how did you guys decide to do that? Um, we kind of, um, there was... A whole competition at the beginning of class, and we won. So a lot of people wanted this. You, what was the competition for? Uh, for to decide which organization you had. Oh, okay. So. All right. And how are, how have you guys decided to raise awareness about CASA, uh, Alex, and get some volunteers? Well, we had a few different um, ideas, and first was this awareness week. We really want the Tippecanoe County area to figure out what CASA is, and because um, many people do not know what CASA is. Um, so we're doing that and trying to get the name out as much as possible. Also around town, you'll see some advertisements on buses and things like that. And we're going to local um, community centers and things like that and handing out flyers and just trying to get the name out there and see what people um, think about CASA. And, yeah. and Ryan, you've decided to, you, you have actually spoken with Colleen Hamrick, who directs the mm -hmm. CASA program. How, uh, what, what sort of need is she telling you there is out there? Um, well, there's over, currently there's over 135 um, children that do not have uh, volunteers. So we're looking to get as many people as we can to help out in the Lafayette area. Um, as Alex said earlier, we're having um, a little presentation at the mall this weekend from noon to four on Saturday and Sunday. Um, so try to get try to get out there. It's going to be an awesome. And what's going to be happening? You're going to have a table set up, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And hopefully a raffle, and just to raise more awareness. Okay, so you're looking for at least 130 volunteers. It sounds like. That'd be great. Somebody. Yeah, that would be good. Um, will you give us a call and let us know how you did, and we'll Definitely. let everybody know how many extra volunteers <laughs> it has as a result of your project. Uh, Alex uh, Kane and Ryan Nugent, thanks so much. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you coming.